Hi guys, it's Yi here from Dove Computer Solutions with the exciting device that's come in the post. It's the super slim featherweight 2015 Apple MacBook. Is it worth the £1,300 of pure unadulterated minimalistic design or is it more style over substance? Let's find out in our review of the Apple MacBook 2015. Let's start with a quick unboxing of the MacBook. This particular model has a technical spec of a 1.2 GHz dual-core Intel Core M processor with 512GB of PCIe flash storage, 8GB of memory and Intel HD Graphics 5300. It's crafted in aluminium and naturally looks fantastic. The MacBook weighs in at 0.92kg and is 13.1mm thin. Nothing is un upgradable so bear that in mind when ordering. The rest of the box contains the USB-C cable and power adapter. The large force touchpad is the same one that Apple introduced in the 13-inch MacBook Pro. Basically, it abandons the ubiquitous click mechanism in favour of an electromagnet that creates an artificial click sensation, while sensors detect how hard you press down. In the office, some found the generous glass surface to glide perfectly, while others found it annoying. The Force Touch options are limited to the OS and Apple apps, so the opportunities to use Force Touch is limited. Holy Moses, the audio speakers on the MacBook is definitely a thumbs up to Apple. Positioned just underneath the display, they are surprisingly loud and clear for a slim device, making watching YouTube and playing games a joy to listen to. Here's a sample YouTube clip from Adele's song, Hello, to give you an idea. The MacBook comes with a Retina 12-inch IPS display with 226 PPI on a 1610 aspect ratio. Colours and contrasts are great, but can get reflective in an office or direct sunlight. Here's a sample clip. It's the destruction of the Alliance and the end of this insignificant rebellion. Soldiers of the Rebel Alliance, this is our most desperate hour. You are our I think Apple forgot about the 480p FaceTime front-facing camera on the MacBook, and so the less said, the better. The Apple MacBook comes with 802.11 AC Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.0 wireless technology. No surprise, there's no sign of the Ethernet port. Talking of which, the single USB-C port is minimalistic design gone mad if you intend on using the MacBook for any form of productivity. Straight away you will need to fork out another 65 quid on a USB-C digital AV multiport adapter to get extra USB, USB-C and HDMI ports. Apple are relying on everyone using iCloud for everything. The keyboard is a little hit and miss in my opinion. It uses a butterfly mechanism instead of the typical scissor keys. The result is an even and flat feel, but the downside is a very shallow key travel. For power users, this can be frustrating as you don't get the tactile feel that you would with a traditional scissor type keyboard. Also, if you work in quiet locations with other people around, the keyboard can become very noisy as you type away furiously to meet a college or work deadline. The keyboard is backlit and useful when catching up with work in bed. Undeniably, the Apple MacBook is a luxurious and gorgeously designed laptop from the Californian design team. The attention to detail is exquisite from the crafted aluminium shell to the featherweight super slim design. The latest gen Intel Core M processors lend to a fanless, quiet design and the obsession to cram in as much battery into the 1.31 cm high frame is much to be admired. Talking of battery, we've managed around 7-9 to nine hours of general to heavy usage from the MacBook. If you're surfing or watching your favourite YouTube channels, the battery will last up to 10 hours. The 12 inch retina screen is great as Apple always do well. The bezel isn't as slim as the Dell XPS 13 with its infinity display, but colours and contrast stand out. 
The stereo speakers are a revelation in such a small package. The audio is punchy and loud when you're absorbing video or music content. If you're a road warrior or tend to carry out your laptop around with you from airport lounge to airport lounge, the Apple MacBook is a perfect laptop that you will love to carry as it only weighs in at 920 grams. However, and this is where I take a deep frustrating breath, the Apple MacBook does compromise in a few areas. I found typing on the butterfly flat keyboard to be less than satisfying when typing long emails or documents. In the pursuit of slimness and form, the keyboard is a letdown. The single USB-C is a pain in the beep if you need to use a USB device with it or to power up a projector, external monitor or 4G USB dongle. If you are in the poor Wi-Fi coverage area, you will need to buy and carry two cable accessories to use an Ethernet adapter instead. Of course, to get around this, ideally you need to plan your infrastructure around the MacBook and not the other way. Use a Wi-Fi printer, for example. Just bear this in mind, and for some, this could be a deal breaker depending on your needs. Where's the charging indicator light? Not a problem if you have the display turned on, but it would be nice if you had the screen down to charge up your MacBook. The Apple MacBook is in a bizarre device category. For over £1,000 or nearly £1,300 for the more expensive model, you could argue the elegant MacBook is seen and used as a very expensive tablet. In which case, you have the iPad Pro coming in at £799 for the 128GB version. Add a Bluetooth keyboard and away you go. If you want a bit more oomph with your laptop, you may consider the Apple MacBook Air 13-inch i5 at £999. Or if you're into video or photo editing, the Apple MacBook Pro 13-inch i5 comes in at a better deal of £100 more at £1399. Of course, in 2015, you have a plethora of Windows 10 devices like the brilliant Dell XPS 13 or the amazing HP Spectra X360 for less money, more features and performance. Something that's bugged me for a while is, where's a MacBook touchscreen option, Apple? What about a two-in-one laptop-tablet hybrid? You are so last year's technology. The Apple MacBook is truly a wonderful device that you don't want to buy. Some people will love it, while others will be left wanting. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and let's discuss. Thanks for watching this review of the 2015 Apple MacBook. Like this video and or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Cheers.